Okay. Well, that was extremely frustrating. Let's go to a much easier level that's far less frustrating. Let's go to Gelato 8. Which everyone apparently despises, but if memory serves, that one's not that bad. I mean, we'll have to collect all of the blue coins, but... Gelato 8 Watermelon Festival. This one's pretty fun, if memory serves. Who can get the biggest watermelon to the smoothie shop? Beware the Let's Play curse. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> the Watermelon Festival is now open! Why must I stand here? I'd rather be drinking a smoothie. Yeah, so for this one, it's bring, bring the watermelon back to the smoothie shop, and whoever gets the biggest one gets the Shine Sprite, because they're giving one of the sacred Shine Sprites out as a prize. Oh, that is a thing that happened, apparently. We get the Rocket Nozzle. So there's a bunch of watermelons just kind of hanging out here, but there's one big one that will actually win the competition. Oh, I wonder if you guys will give blue coins here. One of you gave a blue coin in the first episode, so... Hardest part of this level is just kicking it down the uh, boardwalk. Now that we've got Rocket, why is that Cataquack just hanging out in a tree? All right. How many? How many blue coins? Okay, we're missing. So <laughs> that was the first of ten remaining blue coins. So up here, we see this deliciously huge watermelon. This is the big one that will win us the competition. All we gotta do is roll it on down. And make sure that the cataquacks don't uh, mess with it. Well, that usually happens once. The Cataquacks don't really go out of their way to destroy the watermelon. It's more just a case of the Cataquacks run towards you who's pushing the watermelon, and if they happen to reach it along the way. I actually don't want to grab that just yet. Also, I do need a refill on my water. Well, there's also a bunch of different ways you can take. Like, you don't have to take the shortest possible way. Also, controlling the watermelon is many times easier than controlling the durians, so... Okay, well, don't do that. Oh, wow, wait, do the watermelons just give you infinite coins? It's crazy. I also like how it's like, oh, did your watermelon blow up? That's okay, a new one of the same size will grow in the same place. So, wow, that, that's how convenient.
So it's gonna roll on down. That was bad luck. Alright, well let's get a refill on our water. You know what, just to unlock it. Oh, I already had unlocked it. Well, shoot! Oh, shoot, I'm gonna die. Did the coin seriously just clip into the cliff? No, the stupid Pianta got in the way. Oh my gosh, Mario's making deep no oh, oh noises. Honestly, like the most annoying part of this level is not the guys breaking your watermelon, it is by far just the guys hitting you and stunlocking you in place. Let's run it again. You also can lure the Cataquax out of your way. And just kind of slowly clear a path for it. <laughs> wow, magic! I want to know why the Cataquax deals so much damage. Like, the Cataquax deal like three damage per hit instead of one. Also, blue Cataquax are not supposed to be able to deal damage, so I call foul on that. Wow, that just makes it go so fast, doesn't it? I don't know how speedrunners are able to get that up real fast. Really? That was enough to destroy it? I disagree. Hmm. 
there we go. See? The hardest part of this level, I told you, is rolling it across this stupid boardwalk. Just take it very slowly. Whoa! Now that's a big ol' watermelon like I've never seen! I don't even need to get out the caliber for this one! You win! And we turn that watermelon into a smoothie and make it for the shine spray. Second try of my second try. To be fair. <laughs> Mario stands on top of the juicing machine. And he's like, I don't care. I got the shine sprite. <laughs> there were probably more blue coins that I could have. People always say it's one of the... Not even close. Not even close. You could argue that's one of the more annoying shines on this level. But this level... It has some pretty good Shine Sprites, apart from the Sandbird, so... Like, I don't think it's as annoying as the Coral Reef. Anyhow, there are also blue coins to find. We have nine left. I bet there's more we can do with the Rocket Nozzle. I don't know why the rocket nozzle sometimes is taking a really long time to charge up. There's four blue coins I can get just by spraying the beach. Because, of course... I already got the blue bird up here. Mario, are you serious? You can't walk up a pixel? Alright, Mario. You cannot be real. So there's a blue coin over in this area as well that we can get with Rocket Nozzle. Well, we could get it if the camera wasn't the biggest jerk butt in the whole world. Oh my gosh! I'm not sure what's more frustrating here, the camera or the fact that Mario just is physically incapable of moving on a 10 degree incline. Mario, you are so sucky! No, it's not the camera. It's definitely Mario's stupid physics. The camera screwed me up, I think, twice. Mario's dumb physics have screwed me up, like, five times. <laughs> Look, look, look at that! Mario's refusal to do anything remotely helpful. Okay, now the camera's being annoying. There 
Here we go. 240 blue coins left to grab. I also need to remember I'm out to collect regular coins as well. No blue coins under here? I feel like that would have been a natural place to hide them. Oh, don't you love invisible walls? Just in case the developers were evil and just hit blue coins out in the ocean in the middle of nowhere. Oh, son of a gun, that's exactly what they did. And of course, the water is blue, and the blue coin would blend in perfectly, so... There is a blue coin under the smoothie hut. <laughs> Hi, I'll mention hero. Welcome, welcome. You have missed a lot of pain. <laughs> a lot of, lot of pain, a lot of pain. But we're having more fun now because Gelato Beach is far more enjoyable course than some of the other ones we were playing. Here's just me and you and the Cataplex. Oh, and Zaboom, obviously. Can't forget him. There it is. Excuse me, I did not invite you to the party. Oh, good. Good hitboxes are back. Oh, well, fair enough. Apparently there's still another graffiti shine sprite to spray. This beach is a little too big. To be spraying absolutely every square inch of it. There's one in the middle of the I thought I sprayed the middle of the beach. Why is that little Noki running? Yay, yay, watermelon festival! Get down, get down! Oh. Oh, 
on. It's that last percent. It's always the hardest to get. Oh, that's why we were having issues. Uh, instead of doing that, maybe I could link you to a different adapter. One that would... the same one that I have. How many... Uh, do we have five left? Oh, we only have three coins left! Oh, that's amazing! Oh, that's fantastic! Oh, I love that a lot, actually. Yeah, that's why we haven't gotten part two. It's not because we haven't forgotten about it or we don't want to do it anymore. Oh my gosh, there is one back here. Along with some other coins! That's true. Okay, we have two blue coins left. They're both in the sandbird stage. No! <laughs> that would be the worst. I do not ever want to go back to that stupid sandbird. Hey, we know you have Turbo Nozzle, but do you want another Turbo Nozzle? Not especially. Okay. I know this is a narrow tree, and I, Mario, I know you don't like walking on any kind of slopes. But I really need you to work with me. <clears throat> Thank you, Mario. The power of the stars has returned to the castle. And it's all thanks to you. Thank you, Mario. <sighs> Again, I don't understand how some... Like, five degree slopes cause Mario to go on his butt and not be able to move. And yet he can run up trees. No problem. Also, this is a funky looking tree. Sorry, what? Solid ground? What solid ground? Ah, Mario making smoke with his sneakers again. Good old Froyo. Ho oh, ho, nice triple jump, Mario. That's good. I'd like to avoid just spraying and defeating the Cataquax as much as possible. Mario, you... Oh, I guess I kind of was on that. My bad. <laughs> Alright. Well... Now's, and now it's time for the part of the game where we defeat a bunch of Cataclysms. I feel like you... Wouldn't it be nice if you could defeat the Cataclysm by spraying them and then ground pounding them? That would be nice. <laughs> so does each watermelon give you ten coins? Because if so, that's pretty great. <laughs> I 
I am itching to play the Majora Randomizer again. So as, once we're done with Sun, once we're done with the Sunshine series, I will be playing another one of those. <laughs> Over the surfboards. Cataclysts don't care about defeating the melons that I actually want destroyed. No, no, no! My coin, you stupid cataclysm! Why are cataclysms indestructible? Oh, I could try the animizer. That might mess up my routing for some areas, though. Oh, this is this is a gold mine. There are so many watermelons on the level too. Yeah, this is by far the best level to get uh, coins on. It's not stopping. <laughs> oh, if you send them flying into a dune bud, that kills them. I guess that's kind of cool. Are you sure this is limited to 10 coins? Because, uh, it really seems like it's not. <laughs> oh, okay. Had to s spoke too soon. I really need to stop saying things. They, they always happen as soon as I say them. What? Oh, I'm like, what the heck hit me? Uh, much like Winnie the Pooh, I find myself in the presence of bees! No bother. Yeah, that... Yeah, I just, uh... I've given up on trying to understand this game. This game is just... makes zero sense. Especially with the logic for blue coins. Can I not push these? Oh. These are like the runner-ups. Just roll your watermelon over the pier! Do 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 So you can't actually push these. Oh, yeah. People own these. I think I have the biggest watermelon right now, but what do I do if someone breeds a bigger one? Just get the one at the top of the level that keeps regrowing. So how about this? Mine's the biggest, right? I mean, right? This feeds in the bag, man! In the bag! The guy next to me forced a coin on me, and then, well, he made me switch watermelons with him. Yeah, mine was so much bigger than his. What a meanie. Oh, uh-uh. You have no honor. No honor! <laughs> If there's one thing I can't stand, it's cheating. <laughs> You're a little too close. Normally I like ducks coming close to me, but not the kind that hurts me by catapulting me up. I want the Enemizer that changes every boss and mini-boss into Gomez, who is by far the coolest enemy in Majora, and possibly just Zelda people. Mm. 
good camera. You think you could sneak up on me, yeah? Wow, that is hard to spray at times. That's right. It can it can just dis be destroyed on the one pixel step if you dive into it. Very dumb, but eh, I guess it's kind of funny. Hey, bird brain, give me a coin. I do not like how stingy the coins are on the 100 coin missions. Like, Mario 64 had, like, a small handful of courses that were like that, but it feels like in this, every course that's not named Peanut Park is very stingy when it comes to the amount of coins on it. How do you tell if you've already sprayed a bluebird, or can you not? No, 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 not like this, not like this. Oh, darn it, I'm almost out of water. Two more coins. We can manage that. Nope. Oh yeah, there are two coins over here that I never picked up. Nothing. Oh shoot, there's only one here. Alright, fine. I don't need you. I'll go to the coral reef all by myself. I don't need anybody!
Don't tell me the Coral Reef has no coins outside the Coral Reef mission. Impossible. I also remember there being more watermelons to choose from on this level. I was just like, oh, do you want the one that's clearly the winner or the one that's clearly not the winner? I think there's some kind of collect hidden spray. Yeah, there we go. We still have, I think, two blue coins, though. Yeah, we still have two blue coins. I'm gonna grab the shine spray, though, before something bad happens. Did I get the blue cataquack in the in the tree? Uh, he killed me when I tried it. Even though blue cataquacks aren't supposed to be able to damage you. If there's one in there, then cool. Guess we go back. Where you must really like the watermelon festival. No, Ah, stupid. Glitchy. That's weird. Why is that arrangement of coins in the air? What? How the heck are you... Is that from, like, a turbo nozzle? How would you get up there with the turbo nozzle? You need rocket nozzle to get up there. I feel like the last one is either going to be like, oh, <laughs> you need turbo nozzle or you need rocket nozzle. Is there another dumb thing like, oh, spray a random wall or a spray a random tree, blue coin pops out? <laughs> I hate the cataquacks a lot, but not because they destroy your watermelons. I am like 90% sure I got that. If there's still a bluebird. Can it drop a blue coin, or can after it drops the blue coin, will it still appear and it'll still be blue? Because there is a blue bird up here. But I definitely already have sprayed a blue bird up here before in a previous mission. Uh, 
Christy of a bluebird. Oh, he's back. Aha! Uh -huh. There it is. There we go. Everything in Gelato Beach.